What's going on? It's Anton from AntonDaniels.com. Of course, I'm in downtown Detroit, as you can see. We're Motown, Barry Gordy, all the greatest Motown artists recorded all of their greatest hits and everything like that. But I just found it fitting for me to be down here speaking about the specific subject that I wanted to speak about as it pertains to myself. And really, I just wanted to go over and discuss why I gave up rap music. Not necessarily tell you what you should or shouldn't do, but just give you my perspective and my experience as it relates to rap music. I felt like it was time for me to go to another level in my life. And in order for me to do that, it was important for me to not only accomplish some things that I never accomplished before, but also give up some things. And one of those things that I've always felt like it was important for me to transition from is rap music. And there's several reasons as to why I felt like it was important for me to give this up, but let me just give you a little bit of history. I've loved rap music since, I almost feel like when I first came out the womb. I'm an 80s baby, I was born in 1982, so the era that I gravitated to the most was really the mid to late 90s, but I loved all the old school artists because my brothers was really into the old school artists. One of my brother's favorite artists in particular was Ice Cube, but my favorite artist of all time just so happened to be Tupac, but I've always loved hip hop, I've always loved rap, but I felt like that was something that was always holding me back. And I know there will probably be a lot of debate about it. It already is. Every time I go somewhere, not only is there debate about who's the greatest of all time, what the artists today are doing compared to the artists of yesteryear. In addition to that, you know, is a lot of debate on the effect of rap music. I personally just believe that it's a negative effect, that there's nothing really good that come out of it, and you have so many people affected by it in a negative way. Maybe I don't feel like I'm as affected by it in a negative way as it pertains to my actions on a daily basis but I just think that everything that you do it has to happen mentally first and for me it's just important that I'm always mentally clear mentally stable always thinking positive and I just can't do that listening to the music that I used to listen to let me also just be 100% honest I've been trying or I've known that this is something that I felt like I needed to give up for a long time. Ever since I was a young kid, a teenager, I've always known and felt in my heart that rap music was one of the things that I needed to transition away from. Like I said, I know it's gonna be a lot of debate as to, oh, you can listen to it and still be this. I just wanna be 100% of whatever it is that I am. If I'm 100% positive, I want to 100% listen to positive music. And it's a lot of reasons why I can give it up, but I just don't feel like rap music is helping anybody, especially our communities, outside of the people that's actually getting rich from it so maybe the artists is helping let's just be real I mean how many people do you know that wanted to be a rap artist or want to be a basketball player but you know you know that's like a one in a billion chance for you to ever really be a successful artist in that way at the time that I'm making this video I'm 34 years old and I have no desire to be a rap artist or anything like that I consider myself to be relatively successful in what it is that I do on a daily basis I do well financially and I really think it's harder to communicate to you guys the reasons why I feel like it'll help me be a better person people try to detach themselves because that's what they really want to do and they say well I can listen to it but that doesn't mean that I have to become what it is that they're talking about. I think that you are who you surround yourself with and who you listen to without even trying subconsciously and consciously a lot of times, we embody a lot of the things that we take in. I don't wanna take that in. You know, I just wanna to continue to grow, I wanna be positive. Anything that I don't feel like align with the values that I have or where I'm trying to go, it's important for me to get rid of that. But I'm just trying to do some next level stuff in my life. Naturally, financially, spiritually, I can't go focus on God the way that I need to and then right after listen to Future. It just don't line up for me. The importance of me filming it and telling you guys is that that's me making a commitment. I have to look at this video, and a lot of the times when I film stuff and I talk about stuff, what I do is I refer back to it as my inspiration. So this is me making a commitment to never go back into that again. It was an important step for me, and I also know that some people are also going to say, well, all rap isn't bad. For me, the platform itself, you'd have to sift through so much bad to get to the good. And whenever that's the case, I just need to detach myself from it altogether. So I don't wanna hold on to things. Like I said, I've been trying to give it up since I was a teenager. I've always known and felt in my heart that it was the right thing for me to do in order to get to some of the levels that I need to get to now. But you know, at 34 years old, I feel like I'm finally turning the page and I'm proud about that. I'm happy about it and I'm making a commitment to it. Let me know what you think of course, I'm open to all suggestions, conversations, and perspectives as it pertains to whatever it is that we're talking about here. I don't know, maybe I'm helping you out. Maybe I'm just helping myself out. 
but it was important for me to get this out. What better way to get it out than to come to Hitsville and talk about it, right? I feel like at some point in all of our lives, we all know what it is that we really need to do in our heart for ourselves, for us to get to the next level. For me, it was giving up rap music and I'm making a commitment to that. There are some other things that I am uh, committed to giving up also or transitioning into. I feel like I've accomplished a lot of my short lifetime. However, uh, there are some things that I just need to do in order to get to that next level. So like I said, let me know what you think. Visit my website, AntonDaniels.com. I'm about to go in and check out Hitsville. I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.